So this component here is a resistor where the resistance depends upon the amount of light landing on it, and therefore it's called a light-dependent resistor. Now what I've got over here is I've got another one, and I've connected up to a couple of leads, which then come round to this thing here. So this is called a multimeter, and it can show things like the potential difference or current, but at the moment I've set it to be an ohm meter, and that means it can measure directly the resistance of this component. Now at the moment, um, I'm kind of moving, so that's why it's changing. If I put my hand over it, we can see the number goes up. If I take my hand away, more light reaches it, and this number goes down. In fact, if I have another light source, what we can see is as I shine more light onto this component, this number gets less and less. And that's exactly what happens with a light-dependent resistor. When there's a greater amount of light falling onto it, its resistance decreases. Now when we plot it on a graph, we often measure our light intensity. It's actually measured in lux, so this just gives us a number to how bright or dark something is. And what we find is as something gets uh, brighter and brighter and brighter, the resistance goes really far down. Now this is incredibly useful because if you had an example where you maybe wanted to turn something on at night, uh, maybe a street lamp or maybe the kind of solar lights that you might get in your garden, what this means is that this can act as a bit of a switch in a circuit. And that means that maybe when the light intensity of the surroundings changes, we can use this to change the resistance of a circuit, which will then maybe allow another light to come on.